Yeah, play with the toy shark. I'm Jaws, I'm gonna eat you. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Good morning, friends. My name is Brandon Nate, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Man, I was like a wrecking ball coming through this house. Let me tell you what. Had a nice piano, and I just destroyed it. I don't know how to play a piano. That's probably why. You hear those dogs barking outside. I hope they don't attract no zombies or nothing. But I ain't too worried about it. Maybe they can uh, lead them in the other direction. That would be a, a great idea. Oh, we're still pretty far out from the house. Uh, there's not a lot that looks too good in the fridge. It's uh, rotting just a little bit. And I would rather find some more fresh food. If I could uh, eat some donuts first thing in the morning, that would be quite helpful. But, um, yeah, I also don't want to get too lost. Oh my god, hello. Hello, hello. We did head up this way just a little bit. But, uh, we'll continue on. See if I can brain this dude. Thank you so much. Get my, uh, zombie kill count up to 2,000 or something like that. We've been doing really good. Really good work out here. And I've got so many skill points available from my, uh, carpentering. I'm not really sure I want to level light-footed or nimble or foraging, so, uh, we'll just hang on to it for now. Until, uh, I can get some carpentry or some such. And yeah, we're at, uh, 1,153 zombies killed. Make it 54! Mmm! Yeah! That's so nice. Oh, it seems, uh, things are getting a, a little uglier around here. Zombies seem to, uh, be wandering the neighborhood. Lost as they are. But, uh, it's, it's not unbearably thick quite yet. Come over this way, buddy. I want to break that window. I might attract some friends, huh? Don't need no friends in the zombie apocalypse. Those are the people that are gonna shoot you and take your stuff. At least, uh, I think. Oh my god. Almost. Almost over. Right there. <laughs> Gotta be a little more careful. Keep your head on a swivel, boy. If I didn't hear her uh, banging on that door, I probably would have got got just now. And then, uh, once you get got, mmm, it's uh, a painful waiting process. You're like, hmm, am I, am I dead right now? Should I just shut the game and stop? Not waste anyone else's time? Nope, you gotta see. You gotta see it through. I do hear some banging in this house that's making me a little uncomfortable, but it also lets me know I haven't been here before. So uh, a little bit of donut in the early morn should uh, help me out just a little bit. I'd like to make some coffee. I made coffee once before, and let me tell you, it was fucking delicious. But uh, I don't see any coffee in here. Cereal, cocktail shaker, ooh, we could make a, a little martini. Y'all like a martini? Well, don't drink it, because you gotta keep your, your wits about you. That's what I said, head on a swivel. Ain't that right? And uh, I'll just let the zombies bang around in there. You guys can break down the door, whatever the hell you do. These are houses that I almost definitely have not been into, so I'm... Wow, that is really nice. Look at that there cabinet. I would think that there would be, like, mostly dishes in there. But that seems to be where they keep magazines. Not a very, uh, cultured house. Hmm. Let's get some, some berries. All my bags are almost full. That's not good. That's quite bad. Hmm, the muffin pan. Do you know the muffin pan? The muffin pan? The muffin pan? Do you know the muffin pan that lives inside this cabinet? Okay, the end wasn't very good, but the starting was really, really awesome. Great parody. <laughs> That's what we do here. Fantastic parody every day of the week. Oh, here's some coffee. I got some coffee. Now I need a cup. Where can I get a cup? Up? You should just uh, be able to cook it in the cooking pot and then just drink your giant pot of coffee. A literal pot of coffee. 
Yes, that is nice. Hmm, doesn't seem there's any cups in here. That's okay. We'll, uh, we'll keep an eye out, and I'll, I'll make some deliciousness. Don't you worry. Oh, there's in-game dogs this time. That's fucking fantastic. I like that a little bit better. Um, it's not like a distraction, really. I mean, I, I don't think it's that much of a distraction. Anyways, I'll try and cut around it in the video just a little bit because uh, I'm kind like that. So maybe, maybe I'll cut all the dog barks out and you'll be like, what the fuck is he talking about? Dayton, have you lost it? And I'll say yes. A long, long time ago. And then I found it, and then I lost it again. It was terrible! Uh, as usual, nothing for me in the uh, bookshelf here. Foraging for beginners. I guess I'll take it. I don't necessarily forage all that much, uh, but it'll help me with my level 2 skill, should I decide to do that. I really should have gone herbalist. I've, I've lamented my uh, job choice over and over in this playthrough, but um, yeah, Herbalist would have helped me out a lot more than anything else that I could pinpoint. So we're not quite to the advanced fishing yet, which is what they have here on this book shelf. Um, thinking about taking it anyways, but no, I don't especially have the, uh, the bag space for all that shit. Hmm. Could I make a bowl of coffee? Is that a thing? Oh, action figure! It looks like Darth Sidious. Darth Maul. Yeah, play with the toy shark. I'm Jaws, I'm gonna eat you. We're gonna need a bigger boat. And then Darth Sidious comes out of nowhere. He's like, wrong, wrong. Cuts the shark in half. Yeah, that was pretty fun. That was pretty fun. I didn't think I'd have this much fun today. <laughs> Oh man, there's some flour. Where's where's your guys' fridge? There it is. I just want some uh, cherry popsicles. Is that okay? Cherry popsicles, everyone? Yeah, that's nice. This is a pretty cool little house, and I do mean little house. I'm not sure if I would uh, set up all the way out here, because it's not near water, far as I can tell. But, uh, maybe it'll come in useful. Someday. Who knows? Am I gonna hit the river if I run up this way? I, I presume, yes. So actually, that's not a bad little house. It's relatively near the water. Should I, should I need it? But I've got so many little hidey holes established that, uh, it seems kind of a waste, if you want me to be quite honest. I am going to take my toy shark and my action figure back home because uh, that's that's where they belong. They need a nice new home. Their previous owner is now a zombie and only obsesses about brains instead of uh, Star Wars and Jaws and all the other miracles that modern cinema has brought us these, <laughs> these past few decades. I think miracles is uh, putting it a bit too generously. But, you know, Star Wars is pretty good. Star Wars is pretty good. Jaws, it was good for its time. <laughs> it definitely uh, mm, doesn't hold up as well as one would hope. But um, yeah, you go to Universal Studios, you see the big Jaws pop out of the water, and you're like, wow, that's pretty realistic. Somebody built that, which is uh, a pretty cool job. I'd like to get into set design or something like that if I was uh, more artistic. But unfortunately, uh, my brain just doesn't necessarily work that way. Oh, this is the the cool fishing shack from earlier. That's the girl I killed with the fishing pole. <laughs> killed zombie with a fishing pole. True story. True story. It's like, uh, you know, the tale of the big one. The one that got away. Except this one didn't get away. Now to go. We got a good. And uh, she did have some beta blockers on her, which might come in handy, but meh. I'm not too crazy about all that at the moment. I'm, I'm still... I've been <laughs> meaning to get to the mall at some point for 90 episodes, but like, 
I'm pretty sure that is where the journey will end. You know what I mean? You walk inside a mall filled with zombies, you're not coming back out. <laughs> Even if you make it inside, there's no fucking way you're going to make it back out. Unless I bring my shotgun with me. Um, but in order for that to even have a hope in hell of working, I'm going to have to level it up much further. Uh, preferably find something that's silenced. That would be a really good idea. And then the, the whole mall isn't alerted as soon as I kill anything. You can't have a silencer on a shotgun in real life, but this is video games, so I'm hoping that there's uh, something that I could use. Maybe, perhaps. I mean, even if you just uh, hold a pillow on the front of the shotgun. <laughs> it's not going to work. It might work for one shot, um, but probably not that well. <laughs> then you'll have uh, feathers flying everywhere. And if the zombies weren't alerted by the noise, they definitely will be alerted by the motion of a billion feathers falling amongst your feet as you run away through the, the blood-curdling mess that you have uh, created with your shotgun doom. There's my house. Oh, thank goodness. I, I'm interested uh, at why I call this one the house. I guess it's because the one that this is the one that I built. I'm going to need to get my trowel and plant some more zucchinis. I can't remember if it's in my bag, but I need to go up anyways just because I got uh, a bag full of shit at the moment. There's so many garbage bags there. Wow, look at all them garbage bags. More than I can pick up, apparently. That's not good. <laughs> oh, there's a bunch of uh, double out buck shells. What do we got on these shelves here? It's not like I'm going to be able to keep them in any kind of order. I just kind of shove stuff onto the shelf and like, well, close enough. It's kind of working, right? Maybe. I'm going to keep foraging for beginners. These maps don't seem all that useful. I was hoping they'd have like a secret stash marked on them or something that we could go find, but uh, that doesn't seem to be the case. So that's that's okay. I will live. Did I put the axe on the floor? Oh, I'm in the process of putting the axe on the floor. Or in the in the shelf. That's a good game. Good game. You know exactly what I want, don't you? I've got so many bait fish, I should probably get to using some of these. Oh, and I've got uh, fresh zucchinis. Why would I not be eating these? Because I forgot that I had them, quite honestly. So, um, bait fish probably going to come into some use. I will keep them with me. It seems a shame to have to haul around 46 of them, but you never know. You just never know. Uh, nail gun nails, I don't think I'll need. This needle, I'm never putting it down again. It only weighs 0.1 anyways. That's not too bad. Sheet, screwdriver, shovel. Hmm. I thought that I should experiment with this shovel just a little bit. Put away the wood glue and the wire. I will keep my welding mask and propane torch. And really, uh, I'm not able to offload that much stuff. <laughs> That's really unfortunate. I need to stop uh, being such a pack rat. I mean, I can be as much of a pack rat as I want because I have uh, shelves and shelves and shelves to store things. But I need to stop insisting that I need to carry it all around on my back because that's simply not true. It's foolish. Then I can't uh, fit more good stuff. Let's see what I can do with this shovel. I was hoping that I could dig up these dead zucchinis, but um, I don't really know. I'll just remove, remove grass. Is that an option without the shovel? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's do it. Hey, dead zucchinis, officially dead. Um, what about these? Oh, this is just, uh, I forgot to get my trowel. Of course I did. Every time. And it doesn't seem that I'm able to, uh, click this necessarily well, especially while I'm completely zoomed out. So there we go. Oh, the remove option's on the bottom. Maybe I just wasn't seeing it. 
maybe my brain is falling apart completely. Zombie, it's not going to be a good a good snack for you anyways. You don't want this brain. It's been used up. <clears throat> um, yeah, I gotta dig through these shelves and find the trowel. I guess I can get rid of the welding mask and the propane torch. I don't see myself needing them anytime soon. Sheets, always a good thing to have. Smoke bomb, if we go to the mall, I'm definitely gonna need it. Uh, Red Rider BB gun, okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll stash it in favor of uh, the massively awesome shotgun that we have sitting over there. Box of nails, mmm, you just never know. You just never know what you're gonna need. My goodness, we've got so many axes, so many boxes of MREs. We're looking pretty good overall. I need my trowel so we can do a little more digging. Dig dug. I don't know how the music goes for that, but I was about to do it with my mouth, and then I realized that I was about to make the Pac-Man sound. You know what I'm talking about? I hope you do. I hope you do. Here we go. Let's do a little digging. We'll get some worms. We'll get some uh some more bait for our fishing shenanigans. That sounds like a good plan. Hey, that sounds like a real good plan. That dirt was already dug, but I'm gonna dig it again anyways. And now I'm so tired. I don't understand why. I did take sleeping pills to get myself back to sleep because I went to sleep a little early and ended up waking up in the middle of the night. Um, so that probably has something to do with it. Oh, and also probably the heavy exertion from uh, bending over and breaking my back doing all of this, all of this farming work. Exhausted, in danger of passing out. I mean, this isn't uh, the worst place to pass out, necessarily. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and finish my work. And if you, if you don't like that game, then you can feel free to go right ahead and stop me. But I would like to see this done before the day's end. Because I have some stick to itiveness You know what that is? It's when you stick to itiveness Uh, is that a tree? Is that a tree that I'm looking at in my, in my garden? This won't do at all. Oh, I didn't want to equip it in both hands. Whatever. High exertion, exhausted. Poor little Dayton. You are just not having an easy day, are you? That's a shame. We got some logs, we got some strawberry seeds. Oh, I'm going to take these strawberry seeds. Actually, I'm going to move all of this crap. Can I just uh, walk to here? Walk to here. Is he going to climb out the window automatically? Nope. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. We can't all be geniuses, you know? If I tell you to walk over there and there's a window in the way, what are you supposed to do, you know? What are you supposed to do? It doesn't make any sense. There's a window in the way. How are you supposed to get through the window? Um, I definitely don't want to pass out while I'm out here. Because <laughs> then any old zombie wandering by could be like, Ooh! This is a snack for me. Somebody left this out just for me. And I should probably get my doctor's bag equipped again. Because if you're doing all this uh, bending over, farming and whatnot, you don't really want to uh, have a bunch of heavy shit in your backpack. That is a failure waiting to happen. Um, I guess that's another tree. Damn it, trees! Why are you doing this? You think you could just grow here? Am I gonna chop my my wall down? Oh my god. Is that tree sound or wall sound? That sounds like a tree. Okay. <laughs> Everything's fine. I really didn't want to break this wall down. That would be uh, about the foulest thing I could imagine. Let's do uh, one more. I think that's good. I gotta move all this flashlight and rope. Whatever, that's probably why I couldn't build here, because there was stuff on the ground. And I did not have the foresight to just move it. So instead I made a little uh, extension on my wall. 
Hmm, not too bright. Oh, I still can't dig here. Can you dig that? Can you dig it, suckle? Alright, whatever. Seems like I have a trash pile going here, so I'll just uh, keep on adding to that. <laughs> there you go. Some more rope, some more logs. A shovel mixed in amongst the madness. Surely that can't be a bad idea, right? Right? It's a great idea, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I probably won't need this axe if I'm going to the mall. Man. What I will need is some zucchini seeds. Yes. Okay, that's about enough. Why don't the seeds grow when they are uh, sitting on the ground like that? I find that quite interesting. Oh, and I don't have enough strawberry seeds to sow, unfortunately. It's okay. I'll do two patches of zucchini today, and then uh, hopefully I'll remember to come back tomorrow, unless we're, we're gone. Which could also be a thing that happens. I don't know. I'm just uh, flying by the seat of my pants, if you couldn't tell. Which you probably could. <laughs> probably at like day two, you're like, this guy has no plan for what's gonna happen. <laughs> Which might be a good thing, but it also might uh, frustrate some people to shit. So, if you're one of the people that are frustrated to shit, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize to you, specifically, right now. <sighs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want it to be this way, if you want me to be completely honest. I wanted to, to do the best that I could, and I think sometimes I'm just not able to. <sighs> Life's tough, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, now getting a little hot. Where's my sweater? Take off your sweater. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt, shirt, shirt. Uh, trowel don't need. Oh my god, there's just so much stuff. So much stuff that I need to consider offloading. I have a second axe for some reason. That's probably not a good idea. Or is it a second axe? I'm not 100% sure. I have so many axes laying around. <laughs> oh lord. I'm gonna pack these little bait fish away. That seems like a good idea. I need to uh, head out with as little stuff as possible. That is something that I have not been doing recently. I'm like, oh, I definitely need all of this shit. Take half my house with me on my back. And, um... It's probably not the best idea that I've ever had. Obviously we can bring back more things if we leave more things. But then obviously the danger being, um, you might not come back. You might lose your house forever. There we go. Little bait fishes. Hold them in the fridgy fridge. I guess that'll make them last longer. I'm really not too sure. And I'll probably forget that they're there anyways, but, um, it's something. It's something, alright. Zucchinis are nice. They take, uh, hunger and thirst away, so I'll probably bring this as, uh, my food source. Because I am growing it pretty consistently. Um, nails saw. Box of nails. Hmm. Needle, painkiller, screwdriver. There's those sheets. I guess I'm going to hang the sheets up on the window. Oh, this one already has. This one also already has. Well, why wouldn't I close the curtains? I don't know. Space Cadet! Space Cadet! Maybe we got some more, uh, some more dogs out there. Oh, look at these fresh strawberries. Did I plant these? I must have. And then I... I also left them in the fridge and fucking forgot about them. <sighs> really not the, the smartest thing ever, but um, at least I noticed them before they all went rotten. <laughs> Only one of them has rotted so far. Uh, can I make a bunch of berries? I think I tried this before too, and they ended up being heavier than the, the strawberries individually. So I ain't gonna fall for that shit again. No, sir. I would like to learn some gunsmithing. 
and go out there and kill all those dogs. <laughs> Just a joke. I'd never hurt an animal unless it really deserved it. <laughs> or if it's a, a zombie. Zombies are technically animals, aren't they? I guess. I don't know. Appliance repair manual. Oh. That's why I had the lighter. I was uh, making fires out here. Hmm. I guess that could be relatively fun. <clears throat> I would also like to maybe make the, uh, the lamp on the pillar again. Need two planks, a flashlight, and a rope. So take one of these flashlights here. Grab one. And take a rope. Grab one. And saw a log. Just one. Let's say two planks? Yes. Just two of them. And then I can reassemble what I broke in my, uh, my haste to expand my base. Base haste. I really hope I don't fucking pass out. That's gonna be shit. Alright, so make sure this is facing the right way. I guess any way is the right way, except for the one that's facing the wall. Hmm. I'm gonna face it outwards from the base so we have, like, some room to do activities, you know? Because that's really fun. <laughs> if I want to get some uh, early morning exercise. Hmm. Still pretty far away from my next carpentry level. But, yeah, the fishing level seems really obtainable when you only have 300 EXP to worry about. Maybe I should just climb back in. Now I'm never going to be able to find my fishing pole. I made a mistake! <laughs> How could this happen to me? Oh yeah. Awesome. 10 out of 10. Best ever in life. There's the trowel, so the fishing pole's in here, right? Nope, wrong. Try again. I've just got so much junk. And if I would have kept it uh, organized to begin with, I wouldn't be in the situation that I'm in now. But I didn't. I didn't keep it organized at all. So now it's just kind of like, okay, let's search through here. Hmm. Rice, watering can, wood glue, white chocolate, box of MREs, canned everything. And we could eat pretty good. That is the nice part. Oh, and this shelf doesn't have anything on it. How did that happen? It's been ignored this whole time? Well, I feel really bad about that. I'm sorry, Shelf. I didn't realize. Hmm. And then the question is if I took the fucking fishing rod out at all. <sighs> oh, God. Someone help me. I can't anymore. Alright. I'll get this fishing rod going. Let's do a little, a little fishing on the dock. Way out on the dock, just in case uh, I do end up passing out. I'm kind of pushing myself to the limit just to see if uh, exhausted really means I will pass out. I assume it will, um, but at what point? I'm not really 100% sure. So let's, uh, let's do some experimentation with that. Go ahead and fast forward the clock just a little bit. Roll back the rock to the dawn of time. Hmm, I don't think I've caught anything yet, but it's really hard to tell. Oh, there's a small crappy fish. <laughs> Why do they call him a crappy? I'm sure it is an actual type of fish, but I don't want to eat a fish that's called crappy. <laughs> Anybody want some crappy? I caught some crappy out at the lake today. And that's the, uh, the last worm that we have there. It doesn't seem like I'm really getting anything. Hmm. Oh, I broke my fishing rod. Wonderful work. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Well, if I can learn to uh, reline my fishing rod, that would be a lovely, a lovely thing to do. But, um, yeah, I remember I've tried this before and also failed at it. Saw some fishing line up there, so I'll go ahead with my tired mind and uh, <laughs> try to figure out what I'm supposed to do. 
You just drag and drop? Is that how it works? I don't think so. Maybe. We'll see. Hmm. Fix fishing rod. Oh my god. We need fishing line times two. Paper clip and nails. So we're missing the uh, paper clip and or nails the last time we tried to do this. Very good. So now my uh, fishing rod is back to full health. I only used a little bit of the line. Lovely. That was that was much easier than I remembered or thought it would be. But anyways, friends, I've been extremely exhausted all day long, and uh, I think it's about time for Betty Buy. Oh look, here's the empty mug for the coffee, which I already put away. <laughs> anyways, I hope that you'll join us for the next time. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Project Zomboid. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy. Would like to see some more. That is always, always appreciated. Helps my content to get out there to the people who may be interested in it. And uh, I'm sure there's not only like 920 of you. I'm sure there's more hiding out there under the rocks and whatnot. So we gotta find them. We gotta dig them out. You guys can help me. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next one, friends. Thanks so much for watching. So, so much. One more time. Thanks so much for watching. <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye bye! One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.